Hey guys, before this video starts, in the video I do mention a lot how I have the face cam and I keep referencing things on my face and stuff like that. Uh, I don't actually include the face cam video because it got corrupted, uh, but enjoy the video anyway. Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the Wiener Boy Podcast, hosted by Audible.com. I'm actually not sponsored by Audible.com. In fact, I'm the opposite because I just literally 20 minutes ago canceled my subscription for Audible. I had a, I had the Audible subscription because I, I thought at work I would have more time to listen. Turns out um, I don't just listen to books for fun. I don't like books. I'm not a not a book fan. So I <laughs> I subscribed for about a week. I listen I listened to a good like two hours of a book though. It was about building wealth because I like money. And then I got bored and uh, I I just listened to Coldplay instead and Logic. So I, I canceled that subscription and uh, needless to say, I'm not sponsored by audible.com, even though some people might want me to be. If you want this to be sponsored by audible.com, let me know down below. Get a hashtag audible sponsor my boy long transaction, please. I'm sure they will uh, read that. You may, you may notice the face cam. I noticed it because I, I had to set it up. I don't know how this will work. Uh, I'm doing the same thing where I have Fortnite in the background, as you can see. You guys aren't stupid. <laughs> but uh, I, I think I act differently when I'm on camera as opposed to when I'm just recording, like, the audio only. I also, you know what else? I, I act differently when um, when I record in the morning. Well, actually, what time is it? It's like, a, it's like 10.30 a.m. right now. Usually, I've been doing these podcasts at night, and... It's like, it's not that I get sad, but I get more pensive, and I'm always like thinking about life. I've, I've noticed that about myself at night. I'm more, I'm like, like, what is the meaning of life? And then in the morning, I'm like, I'm just happy to be alive. And uh, I act more, sh more strange. I do have something interesting I wanted to talk to you about, talk to you guys about. It was a new series idea that. Uh, I had popped in my brain. It might still happen, but to be honest, uh, the first episode, which you guys aren't going to see because I I deleted the footage, the first episode was it was funny, and I thought it was pretty good, but the audio quality was terrible. Let me set up the scene for you guys. Uh, every morning, I have to drive 45 minutes to work. Then in the afternoon, I drive 45 minutes at least. It could even take longer than that to get back home. So that's like an hour and 30 minutes of me not not creating content, spicy content for you guys. So I thought, why don't I not it's not a podcast, it's more like a it's kind of like a vlog cuz podcasts you have to kind of be thinking, at least I do the whole time. And if I were if I get too distracted, I might actually like cause an accident and I don't want to do that. So it's more like a vlog and uh I just chop up the funny put pieces the funny bits and put them together and it was like I had some some funny stuff in there I think at least I think it was funny but then I wa I listened to the audio quality back and it's just so garbage what I did was I set up my camera the one that you guys are seeing right now and it has a good mic it's a good camera but I didn't really have a good spot to put it in in my car and I just had it in the corner and it was touching like it was vibrating against the wall because I was driving so that messed up the audio quality and then um, it's also not a very flattering angle either because it's like in the bottom floor. I'm not holding it up. It's not like I don't want to be that distracted when I drive. So I put it just away and then I'm talking to myself. Um, and I I mean, what I realized almost immediately within within five minutes is I should just get a GoPro or I have it's called like a Yi camera. It's one of the smaller ones. You just I should just put it on the dashboard. I don't even have to think about it. That's that's just going to be looking back at me. Then I could put this camera onto the bottom floor. So I'll have two cameras. So it's like high quality. That's high quality production value, boys. And then just get a, I think it's called a zoom microphone. And then you can just put it in the car. Because car acoustics are pretty good usually. Like my car's, it's, it's a Toyota. It's a Toyota Corolla. So it's not going to be really loud. And like the sound gets trapped in pretty, pretty well. So, I think I should, I think I might do that. Um, 
Let me know what you guys think. I know you guys are going to say that you like it. You think it's a good idea? And you should, because I think it's a very spicy idea. Um, what happened? But... Yeah, the the thing I noticed when I was watching the footage back, I could understand what I was saying because I I was there, but it if you if you weren't there or if like English isn't your first language, you'd be like really confused. Um, when I'm going to work, I'm just kind of like, bleh, 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 bleh. partly because it's really early in the morning. Well, it's it's like eight a.m. and then also partly because I have to I know I have to go to work. And then when <laughs> on my way back home, it's also a Friday, so I was like more amped up. It's just me like yelling yelling at cars it's great it's a it's a really good time i think you guys would enjoy it i'm probably gonna buy that zoom the thing is i i was looking it up this morning and i i don't like to spend money on equipment too much because i i feel like people get into the mindset where they think the equipment is what really makes the video but then in reality the equipment is important to a certain extent but once you get like a baseline then the equipment, the value, the, like, the, it becomes like a, oh my gosh, I should know this, depreciating value. Graphs are hard, man, but it, like the, the utility decreases over time because no one really cares about the equipment. Only the person making the video cares about the equipment and thinks it's a huge deal. Unless it's so, the equipment is so bad that you can't understand what's going on in the video. So, yeah, I, I'm hesitant to spend money on stuff, uh, but that's why that's why I tried the video first, and then I saw, would it work with this microphone, this camera, and if not, then I'll just get some other stuff. The thing I'm thinking about is the Zoom apparently takes up a lot of batteries, and I, I hate spending money on batteries, because you, you just have to keep spending money on them. I might get like a rechargeable thing or I was hoping you can just plug it in because I have like a USB thing in my car that would be nice but then also the Yi uses like the the app it uses an application on your phone to record or something I should have just bought a GoPro man that would have been so much easier oh no we'll figure it out I think I think that'll be a good idea I don't know wait why is this video so long 36 minutes I have to talk for 36 minutes that's okay I, I like talking to myself in the morning. Let's see what happened um what happened yesterday that was kind of funny at work was uh I take phone calls and then for some reason people always think that we're amazon.com and they they're trying to pay a bill and we're not amazon.com. I don't work for them. But then people people will call and they'll be like, "I got this bill from Amazon. I was hoping to pay it." They're usually old. And I can't blame them. I'm like, I'm sorry, sir. We are not Amazon.com. Please redirect your question to them. But then yesterday, I, I answered the phone. I'm like, hello, how may I help you? And then I hear on the end, like, five seconds of silence. And then I hear, hola. I go, oh, no. I go, hola. Como estas? I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> and then she goes, uh, hablas en español? And I go, oh, no. And I, I just go, uh, solo un poquito. So, you know. I think I made it pretty clear. I might have an okay accent, but I, I it's not. I'm definitely not fluent. It's, it's it's pretty obvious. I don't speak Spanish. No hablo español. And then she she just she just goes in and she goes she goes blah 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 blah. And all I got from it was when I cuenta para Amazon. And I'm like okay something a bill for Amazon, and then I go okay. Uh, Esto no es Amazon. And she, like, she was like, I don't know if she understood it. Because I thought, esto no es Amazon means this is not Amazon, right? I'm not that stupid, right? So I think that makes it clear that you just have the wrong number. And then, I usually don't get flustered when I'm speaking foreign languages just because I've done it so much. Even if it's a language that I don't really know too well. Like, I have a basic knowledge of Spanish. But then... I got really flustered and I, I just started speaking in Italian to her. <laughs> I was like, they're romance languages, you know, they're, they're close. So I'm like, I, no, questo no, uh, actually, no, you, I didn't even speak Italian really. I just kind of mumbled, I was like, uh, 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 eventually she understood, I think, and she hung up or she just got tired. She didn't call back though. 
That's so that's always that's always a win for us. That's always a win for us. Oh man. What else happened? I feel like there's more pressure now that I have the camera. What do you guys think? I don't know. I was thinking about making the green screen the background solely. And then I can just like do the ultra key and the so then there's no, there's literally no background in the video. In fact, I probably should have done that. But then I would have the way my camera's position, I would have had to like move it to the side or something. I don't know, man. I, Fortnite, you'll see the Fortnite gameplay in the background. They did some like weird patch or something, and they made it so they made it less fast paced. And a lot of people, I don't think, I would say ninety five percent of the people don't like it, and they they feel that it caters to new people who are joining games, and. I mean that's like a that's a common theme with video games. You get the people who've been playing it for a long time and they I mean, they might want to see some minor changes, but for the most part they want to play the game they've been playing. You like with FIFA, just think of that. But then with a uh, with Fortnite it's it's like everyone. I haven't seen a single person who says they like the update. And the thing is for new people they might like the update, but they don't know they didn't know the game before so they can't really tell the difference and that's a that's a weird place for a game developer because you don't want to shut off new clients like from a business perspective you need to be as inclusive as possible because and Fortnite's already killing it they're making so much money so then that's that's kind of interesting to consider if you're making that much money already does it really matter about getting new clients i mean people are going to people are going to come in anyway just because they hear like word of mouth and they'll adapt to it. I mean, I hadn't played, I had never played a shooter before except CSGO and like very small amounts of PUBG on uh, on computer. And I was getting completely wrecked the first, maybe even the first month, maybe the first two months I was playing Fortnite. But then I, I realized that I had to adapt. It's not like I <laughs> wrote a Reddit post. I'm like, Fort, Fortnite is trash. Epic, fix your game. You know, so that's that's why... I agree with most people when they say don't change the game how it is because the people who are your loyal fan base, the people who you really should be helping out, they've been there for the longest time. They, they're they the ones who really push your game, like all the pros. Twitch Twitch has had a huge influence as to how Fortnite has become so so big and so popular around the world, and they don't like it, so then just don't don't change what's what's not broken i don't know i think it's strange they, they it'll be interesting to see because epic seems kind of um new age in terms of when they make a mistake they seem quick to fix it kind of like patreon I, I don't know if you guys know patreon did something where they they like they changed how much money the creators actually receive and then there was a ton of backlash and within days, they changed it back to the way it was. And that's that's something you definitely would not see from EA, from an older company at least. Like, when they make a change, before the internet, you you would have people make changes to games, and you would see some backlash, but, like, it's not going to be on social media. It's not going to be trending. The only people who really had the influence to make changes like that were... Um, did I kill this guy? Because I'm getting weird flashbacks that I didn't kill this guy. No. Hold on. See, the the thing that's different is the shotgun play. Okay, I did kill him. Um, but, like, the only people who really had influence to change brands' ideas were celebrities. But now, you have internet celebrities. <laughs> oh, don't you love them? And then you have, uh, you can just get, like, if a bunch of people get a retweet, they can just be a random person on the internet. But if they have a bunch of retweets, then basically a celebrity it reminds me of uh i was looking at the wendy's that was this was like a year ago when the guy was like asking for what was he asking for like free chicken nuggets for life or something and then he wanted Wendy's wanted 18 million likes or 18 million retweets i like that post i wish i didn't like it it has a million i really wish i didn't because it's just like it's kind of it's beggy there, it's like when when people will make predictions for for uh, scores for games, and then oh look at this, I did thirty. Oh what the heck? Oh I didn't even. Oh my gosh. 
I'm such a mug. <laughs> Wait. Oh my gosh, boys. I thought... Oh, that's so tragic. I'm recording this. What I do... <laughs> You know what I do? I I get I record Fortnite. Oh my gosh, it's so that's so muggy of me. I was wondering why the video was thirty six minutes. I record Fortnite and then I um I I find a game that I won and that I played well in and then I chop it up so it's just that game. And then I do the podcast over it. And then I just I just I was watching this back and I thought I just did this last night. This is kind of weird. I I don't remember winning this game specifically. I thought I had more kills at this point. Oh my god. Did you see that 35 crit I did? 35 crit for a pump shotgun, man. The game's changing. Maybe I need to learn to adapt. You know what I did? I I shaved my eyebrows. I don't know why. I was shaving last night and then I've always had really thick eyebrows and I thought, "You know what? What will happen if I just do this?" So I took the razor and I just took a little bit off the top. I don't think I made them even though. I don't know. It's hard to tell. When you think it's not even. Like for me this one is a lot smaller than this. I don't know boys. I don't know what I'm doing. My brother shaved his eyebrow once. But he accidentally like took off. I don't know how he did this. He like went like that. And it just created a line. So he basically looked like a gang member. So then he had to buy. Um, he had to buy like a one of those colored pencils. That you use to write on your face. And he drew in the drew in the thing. Oh, this, so this must be the game I win. You know, normal normal LT. Well, not normal, but the old LT would have just cut it. I would have restarted this whole thing. I would have pretended like I didn't mess up. But new LT doesn't care. New LT is on a different level. Unless okay, if this if this also is the incorrect game, then I might I might have to do that. It might be actually. No, I don't know. I don't no no it isn't. This this is the correct game. I remember. I remember. Um but I always I would always think of um I would try really hard to make what vi what videos people want to see. And then that kind of goes against what most creators say you should do. I can think of Ed Sheeran. I can think of Casey Neistat who have said just do what you want. And I'm all I've always been like I know what I want, and I know some people will want it too, but why don't I just do what is trendy? Which, I I mean, I didn't do that. The reason I thought doing what's trendy, or at least doing what is popular, is a better way of doing things, is because of how I did Bronze to Glory, which some people wanted. Don't get me wrong, but I think a majority of people didn't really care to see Bronze players play in FIFA. Only a small niche. So then, when I did that... Um, and I didn't get a huge subscriber growth considering how long I did it. And I was pretty consistent with like almost daily uploads. Um, and then as soon as I switched to player reviews, it was like, bang, I just skyrocketed. If I had done player reviews this whole time, I, I legitimately think I would have like 30,000 subscribers or something ridiculous. Then I would probably just be able to do FIFA full time, which that makes me sad to think about. I'm so disappointed in myself. But anyways, um... People are always like, don't do it. People want you to do. Do what you want to do. And then the people who like you will come. If you build it, people will come. Which, yeah, that... I always thought, yeah, that's true. But I want to just do what people like. And then when it gets me a lot of money, then I can pretend like I like it. And maybe over time I actually will like it. Which could be true. I mean, look at look at these channels that pop up with like hundreds of thousands of views and it's just Fortnite funnies. I should do that guys. I I need to do a Fortnite funnies video. Fortnite funnies and just take other people's content and get hundreds of thousands of viewers. Oh my gosh man, that just be that just be the dream. <laughs> it wouldn't really be the dream. I don't I don't really care about money, to be honest. I have th this new job is nice. I like I get I don't mind, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but I get a pretty good comp, if you know what I'm saying. It hasn't really changed anything. If anything, it's made me want to save even more money, just because I like 
I get I get value from seeing the money in my bank account and not seeing like zero dollars or thirty seven dollars. Look at me getting trolled. I remember that. Oh yeah, this is definitely the game because I got trolled and I thought uh this isn't YouTube worthy. It is YouTube worthy. Anything is YouTube worthy. You know who else who else said um he I think his direct quote is don't try too hard is uh Cody Co. Cody Co's I was listening to his, this is the one podcast that I watch on a regular basis, the Tiny Meat Gang podcast. I mentioned this earlier. Um uh, but Cody Co mentioned how he doesn't try too hard with though that was in reference to his Vine videos. And I mean I always whenever I try to do one of these skits, I have all these skits flowing in my head and I'm like that would be funny, but then I overthink it and I'm always like well, I need to get the characters. I need to get someone to be my cameraman. And I need to blah, 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 blah. But then in reality, it's just so stupid of me because if you look at all the Viners, they would literally, they would just hold up a, hold up their iPhone. They'd be like, ma, 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 ma. Then they would, I don't even think they would change their clothes. They would just do the same thing, but put the horizontal flip on the video. So it looks like you're in a different position when in reality, you're in the same spot. Those videos got, those Vines got millions of views. It does not matter about production quality, really. It, it's nice to have. I mean, production quality does add something. But it's not the base of what you, what you need. You know what I'm saying, boys? It's not the base. I want to make music, okay? People don't like music all the time. They want to see player reviews. I don't always want to make player reviews. I want to do music. Sometimes I want to do a player review. I don't always want to do music. It's become less over time to be honest uh, just because FIFA FIFA's kind of like I had fun uh, today today Saturday I recorded that Quincy Proms video on Thursday Quincy Proms strike it a pie I mean it was, it was I thought it was a good video uh, I definitely didn't have as much fun as I used to in FIFA but I still had fun like it was I'm, I'm glad that I recorded that video but I don't I don't want to force things I kind of I want to do what I do that's why I think one a, one a week is good it's it's hard because I don't want to force things to where it's like uh, I'm not having fun and uh, I just am lazy if you look at the Delhi Ali video that I did I think that was a that was a force shouldn't have done that one that was a force on my part Mainly because I recorded it once and I didn't, and I had good gameplay, and then I re-recorded it. But I shouldn't have done it because it was pretty obvious I wasn't having fun, and uh, people, I don't think as many people liked it because it was obvious. I think once a week is good because it's nice to have the pressure on yourself to do things, but at the same time, not forcing yourself. Because if I had no pressure and I just did what I wanted. I would like I would not get anything done it's hard you have to push yourself to do things with restrictions I've always noticed that um, I can get more done in like it, let's say that you have scenario a and I have a whole day to write a song or I have scenario B I have a ton of work to do like I have work from 8 to 6 and then I have a small window of like three hours so let's say I need three hours to do a video I'm more likely going to get the video done in the small three hours as opposed in scenario B where I don't have very much time as opposed to scenario A. Just because scenario A, I'll put it off and I'll procrastinate. And then I'll think, now I have so much time, there's pressure on me to do things. Whereas in scenario B, I'm like, you know, I just, I have this much time. It's clear. It's laid out for me. I have to do this in this space of time and I just get it done. That might be because... I was always a procrastinator in school, especially with homework. I I would never in high school it's weird cuz I never did homework before 8 a, 8 p.m. I always did homework sitting on my sitting in my chair in front of the TV and just like scribbling it or we would have these things on the internet like web assigns and you'd have to fill them out online. And I would I was so distracted, boys. I don't know how I how I did how did I do high school? I think in college I got better about sitting down and properly doing things and studying. 
just because you can't you can't do homework really for most classes to kind of boost your grade. I do. I'm so stuffy. I feel that's the bad thing about doing these in the morning. I get all stuffy and I sound like a weirdo. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Procrastinating is not good. Uh, that's what like <laughs> it's weird because I procrastinate just so I get to the period of time where whoa period of time where um there's pressure there's like a time pressure on you <laughs> and then I get stuff done oh my gosh we got 11 minutes I'm already rambling rambling is never a good thing do you guys care about the I know people were saying in the last podcast to uh play some other games instead of playing games because the only re the reason I, I put Fortnite in the background is because that's kind of what I do in my free time at the moment it's not going to always be that but at the moment, I have fun playing Fortnite. So I'm like, you know what? Killing two birds with one stone, getting gameplay. Sick gameplay, you know? Sick gameplay where I definitely get a ton of kills. And then, uh, so I get the gameplay and then I have something to record over. I was thinking about not a, well, here's the problem with this. What I wanted to do was just record almost like a vlog. Actually, no, what did I want? It was more like B-roll. Me walking in a park. This is such a dumb idea, actually, now that I say it out loud. Sometimes I have you have ideas in your head that are like, that's a dope idea. That's going to be a lit idea. That's definitely going to be, you know what? Trending is calling your name with that idea. Then you actually say the idea out loud, and you're like, what? So here, I'll g I will entertain you guys with a terrible idea. My plan was to do a podcast, but the background is just B-roll footage of me like walking around in a park or me showing a butterfly but now that I think about that that would be really boring for like 20 minutes or 25 minutes at least with this you have something in the background to distract you you know sick Fortnite gameplay footage with that it would just be most people would probably turn it off actually oh gosh my failed ideas my failed voice cracks man doing it in the morning sucks man uh, I try. I I had a I had a mocha. Do you guys know what a mocha is? A mocha is a coffee with chocolate. It's also known. Oh, look at this! Bang! Look at this! Bang! <laughs> I. This is so lame. I feel like such an idiot because I recorded the video on just bad gameplay footage. At least it wasn't one of those gameplays where I die immediately. I mean, maybe that would have been better because it wouldn't have wasted as much time. But uh, a mocha is when you put hot chocolate into your coffee. <laughs> basically, basically, it's just hot chocolate. But then instead of hot water, you put coffee. I didn't know what I didn't know what it was. I didn't know it had a name. I don't even know if that's officially how you make a mocha. But whenever I would go to hotels, they would always have the coffee station, and then they would have uh, hot chocolate on the side. At one time, they were they were out of hot water for the hot chocolate, and I've never been a coffee drinker. I still don't like coffee. So I put the hot chocolate mix in a cup, and I'm like, I might as well put some coffee. And then I was like, yo, this is dope. And it gives me street cred, and I can say I drink coffee. So then, <laughs> so from that point on, I've become a mocha man. And it was funny, because at college, you know you get those people who are like, yeah, man, I'm on my my seventh cup of coffee all day you know so hard been uh being a college bro you get those people this guy was kind of like that he he had a he he was addicted he had he was an addict he was addicted to caffeine he drank at least five espressos a day i think they were espressos or were they cappuccinos i don't know like a small thing with a lot of caffeine in it and he was always he's always like jittery he's like um and he had coffee breath all the time. It would be like five in the afternoon. He had to have coffee breath. And I'd be like, what the heck, Ben? So I would always do homework with him for some reason. And uh, the funny story about that guy, one time, <laughs> one time we, we were doing, we were in a really hard economics class. And one time we were going to meet to do homework. And I, I don't know, I was going to pick like the library or, you know, somewhere quiet. And he goes, how about this, uh, I don't remember the name of it. How about this? He said this coffee place called um, Mills Coffee Shop or something. So I'm like, okay, a coffee shop probably won't be weird. It'll be 
like going to Starbucks and people go to Starbucks all the time to do homework, especially on a college campus. So I walk in, I find the place and then it's like, I see a sign immediately that says, please wait for your server to, for your server to seat you or your hostess to seat you. And I'm like, I, I must be in the wrong spot. And then this, this woman comes out and she goes, hi, just one. And I go, um, is this the coffee shop? And she's like, yeah, it is. And I go, okay, I'm supposed to meet someone here to do their homework or to do homework with them. And she looks at me like, what? And then she goes, okay, you can take a look around. So then I look around and it's, it's pitch black in there. Cause it's a freaking restaurant and it's, it's noon. And I just see him sitting there, of course, with a coffee in his hand at a table. It's just, it's a restaurant. I don't know why it's called coffee shop, it, but it was a restaurant. And then I, I sit down, I'm like, Hey man, what's up? You want to study here? And he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a seat. And then the waiter comes over and like, can I get you something? I'm like, uh, just a water. I don't, cause I didn't, I had eaten already. I didn't plan to eat, do my homework at a restaurant, at a sit down restaurant. And then the funny thing about that, it's a, that was just a stupid place to go in general because it's pitch black. You can't study in somewhere where it's really dark and it's loud. Like there were a lot of people eating there on a Saturday, having a good time. And then they were also playing a, it was a, they were playing a basketball game that everyone was watching cause our school was playing. And, and he's like, he's like getting mad that they're playing such a loud TV in a restaurant. I'm like, what did you expect from this situation? And then he he calls the server over. He's like, do you think it'd be possible to uh, turn the TV off during the commercials at least? And she's like, um, no, I don't think we can do that. Because the whole time she's thinking, why are these idiots studying in a restaurant? And then, so he's like, okay, that's, that's fine. So we're sitting, and we're sitting like right next to the TV too. I don't know why he chose this. And, uh, we're not, I'm not really getting much out of it. I was already struggling with this class. He was a lot better at this stuff than I was. So I, I kind of was just there to latch onto him and help me figure out the homework. And then it's one of those places that has giant tea colanders. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but they're like, they're aluminum and they hold your sweet and unsweet tea. And, uh, so the, the guy who works there is pouring the tea and he somehow like, you know, there, these are really big tea things. Like they hold, I don't know, 10 gallons of tea and he's pouring it and then it somehow slips and it just spills all on us and like gets on all our papers and it, it got on my clothes and stuff. And he's like, Oh, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, you shouldn't have done that, but it happens, stuff happens. So I wasn't really mad. And my friend wasn't really mad either, but basically all our homework was just covered in tea. And I'm just thinking, where are we going to meet next time? Are we going to meet in the middle of the road? Cause that would be, that would just be the spot. Just study in the middle of the road. The funny thing is the next place we studied actually was a coffee shop, but the table was dude. Oh my gosh. The table was like maybe a foot a foot and foot wide and a foot long so you, you guys know area of a apple pies are delicious pie are squared radius was probably like six inches so you're talking about 36 pie in circumference not a very not a very big table you know what i'm saying and we're it's three people we got someone else to help us and we're all just sitting there trying to do our economics homework and <laughs> we're, we're like writing we're all writing over each other and then he's drinking coffee because that's what I noticed the reason he kept choosing all these terrible places was because he needed the coffee in his system because he's an addict when I sometimes I got to pick and I would pick the library what a crazy thought and then um he he would it wasn't like he would get mad but I could see that he was getting like agitated he's like yeah because that homework would take a couple of hours so you know the caffeine kicks in and out over time oh don't you guys love my college stories you i should have a whole podcast dedicated to college stories i don't have very many good ones oh no 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 no! this is what i wanted to do how much time do we have we have like two minutes okay so i'm not going to do it today but i want i don't know if i want to have a whole podcast maybe this could be the carboys thing the thing i was talking about 35 minutes ago 
uh, with my car idea. If I do, I just tell stories of when I worked at Chick Fil A because I have I have stories. That's the the thing about working in a fast food restaurant is the job is not fun. No one likes it. I don't think unless you're, I don't know. Maybe some people like it, but you get a ton of stories from it. I can here. I'll give you a quick one. I'll give you how much time? Minute thirty seconds. One time I'm sitting in the drive thru, I'm working the drive thru. I take this guy's order. He goes, Yeah, I'd like the number one. I say, Okay, sir. Um, with, is that the meal or just the entree only? He goes, I'll take the meal. I go, Okay, what side would you like? I'll do French fries. And then what can I get you to drink? I'll take a Coke. All right, so a uh, Chick fil A sandwich. We got some medium French fries and a medium Coke. Is that going to be all for you today? Yeah, that's going to be all. Okay. Uh, would you like any sauces or condiments with that? And he goes, Oh, yeah, I'll do some Chick fil A sauce. And so I'm like, okay, so we got Chick-fil-A sauce as well. All right, and could I just get a name for the order? I tell him the total. It's probably like six, 687. I used to know these. Um, can I get a name for the order? Yes, yeah, Satan. And, you know, at Chick-fil-A, you're required to, like, say their name back to them because <laughs> that's the whole thing about being, like, all customer-friendly. So I'm like, okay, Mr. Satan, your uh, your order will be ready for you at the window. And then I, I put in Satan. Because I, I had to like write it on an iPad so then the person at the window knew to uh, greet Mr. Satan. So <laughs> we had Satan at Chick-fil-A. That's going to do it for this one, boys. Thank you for sticking around. Hopefully you like that. I'll have I'll have some more stuff coming soon. Um, hopefully I won't be as rambly. Hopefully this recorded the audio. Anyway, boys, I'll see you boys later. And always don't forget to spare pets.